Now here's some masks we got. We, we've had a total of 10,000 masks, 10,000 gloves to give to these seniors, but we need more. A group led by State Senator Patricia Van Pelt delivered surgical masks and gloves to the Albany Terrace Apartments in Little Village, a senior home with more than 350 residents. They also delivered a little happiness on the holiday. We still, you know, still celebrate and love Mother's Day, and we're giving them something to, something to hold on to while they, uh, while they uh, stay home for this pandemic. But they're also shining a light on how COVID-19, the disease caused by the new coronavirus, is impacting senior homes. In Illinois, nursing homes account for 48% of all COVID-19 cases. More than 50 nursing homes have passed a grim milestone, double-digit death counts. We desperately need someone to come out with a mobile unit and test all of our seniors. Rosemary Coleman is a member of the Chicago Housing Authority's Local Advisory Council leadership. She represents several senior homes. In three of my buildings, the virus is in the building. People have died. One of the janitors is working in the building with the virus, and that's not right. Medical experts say the elderly and frail are among the most susceptible to getting sick from the virus, but State Senator Van Pelt says in many communities, there's another factor. Well, for one thing, poverty. Poverty is a big part. When I came here the first day, I saw people walking around with no masks. They didn't have money to buy masks. Uh, they didn't even have money to get gloves. And with the health risks in senior homes so high, Coleman has a request on behalf of all the residents she represents. I'm asking all of them to give the mothers the best Mother's Day present that they could ever give. And that's to stay at home. In Illinois, more than 1,500 people have died in nursing homes since the beginning of the pandemic. In Little Village, Mike Lowe, WGN News.